Okay, we got some more uh, logarithm stuff going on, um, and we're gonna we need to solve for x. We've done this before. I just threw a little curveball in here. Um, normally, we'd be if 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 say, say okay say say we had this. Okay, we'd say well five to the second equals x, so 25 equals x. But we have a whole nother logarithm in here, so we can't really do that. But it's not a problem because we have a difference here. Difference tells us, you know, a subtraction problem with involving logs of the same base says that we can rewrite it as a single log just using a fraction, okay? And this is pretty much the reason we're we were uh, playing around with it earlier is because we can actually it actually has a purpose believe it or not so let's do this let's just apply the quotient rule okay that's log 5 and that's gonna be x plus 1 divided by x and it's still equal to 2 um, now on a side note if you you might have just forgotten some of your algebra but um, x plus 1 over x, uh, well, that's the same thing as x over x plus 1 over x. Okay, they're equal to each other. And x to the x, well, that's just over x is 1. So 1 plus 1 over x equals x plus 1 over x. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do that. Okay. And that's going to end up giving me 1 plus x to the negative 1. Okay? So, let me go back through here. Alright, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, that's all I did. So I just went through here and ended up rewriting it. And here's, here's what I want. Okay, so. Okay, it's still equal to 2. I got a little sloppy there. Um, I, I apologize. And let's see here. Well, same thing. Log 5 of 1 plus x to the negative 1 equals 2. It looks a little weird because we haven't really done a whole lot with it. But all it means is 5 to the second power equals this guy in here. So 5 to the second power is 25 equals 1 plus x to the negative 1. Okay? Now we need to solve for x, so let's just subtract the 1. Okay, well this looks like it's going to end up being 24 equals 1 over x, because that's what x to the negative 1 means. And let's, to be, uh, just so we don't confuse anyone, let's go ahead and just multiply both sides by x. So 24x equals 1, okay? Divide both sides now by 24, and we'll find out pretty quickly that 1 24th is equal to x. So that is, um, that's, a, that's a little tougher one. I got, I, the phone's ringing. Um, actually, I got a, a, a message, so I'm going to go do it, but so this, I'm going to cut this video off a little shorter than I normally would, but uh, as soon as I get my communications in order, I'll be right back. Alright, see you in the next video.